Right, hi guys, we're back. I guess I was a little bit rude before. I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Alan Hyatt. I'm the owner of the company, PMI Audio. And just so you know, PMI Audio, we own Joe Meek Studio Projects, Toft Audio Designs, and Stephen Paul Microphones. So now that that's out of the way, I feel a lot more friendly with everybody now that you know my name. So let's move on. We talked about the Joe Meek and the Studio Projects electronics before. Let's talk about a couple of microphones here. Let's start with the B1. This is basically our entry level microphone, okay? So the B series uses a three micron capsule. All of the B series use a three micron capsule. So since it's not as thick as the C series, you get a little bit less coloration out of the microphone. So it's a little bit more neutral. Now, Shortly, you're going to be seeing the B1 model change a little bit, and you're going to go, wait, what's these switches I'm seeing on the B1 that I haven't seen before? Well, yes, you've guessed that we've added some features. Coming soon, the new B1 has added a switch on the front panel. And what this switch is over here is a pad. It allows you to have the pad off, or you can select it at um, a 10 dB or a 20 dB pad. So in those areas where you don't need such a heavy pad, you have the selectability. Now on the back of the B1, we have another three position switch that actually gives you a 75 and 150 hertz high pass filter, also defeatable. So even more flexibility in the B1 microphone, which makes it even more than a value than it already is. The B3 is our multi-pattern version of the B1. The switches give you control over Omni, um, cardioid pattern or figure of eight. And on the back, you have a switch for either a pad, a high pass filter, or neutral. B3 is uh, still current in the model, no changes, as is the TB1. Guys, the TB1 is probably one of the most underrated tube microphones out on the market today. Comes in a really nice aluminum case, comes with the shock mount, comes with the power supply. It's a tube mic. It's really, really good. Moving from the B series, the infamous C series. This is what made us. The C1, okay, still the same. Like the B1, it's gonna go to two switches. Currently, right now, we have the high pass filter and pad only switch in the back. It's gonna go to the two switches, so you'll have two pads and two filters. That's coming shortly. Look for it in about 120 days. The C3 remains the same. Two sets of switches on the back for your patterns. Again, figure of eight, Omni and cardioid with your high pass filter and pad. Very, very good vocal microphone. Um, T3, that is our tube microphone. Again, very, very underrated, high quality tube microphone. Comes with this power supply. This power supply, you can, power supply is selectable. So you can get in between the patterns, for example. You're doing a dreadnought and you're in the cardioid position. And it's, it's a large dreadnought, so they're a little bit boomy. You can open the pattern by turning a click or close the pattern by turning a click. And you can custom tailor that pattern to either increase some of that low frequency or get some of that low frequency away. So these are some of the things you can try not only with vocal situations, but with instrument, instrument in, uh, instrumentation. Remember in the figure of eight pattern, you're picking up from both capsules. So it's a good way to have like either uh, two guitars facing each other playing off the same microphone or two vocals singing together. Very, very flexible. 